The Reverend Father, His Excellency, the Ambassador Robert Miller, if he's here. His Excellency, the Consul General of Grenada, the Right Lamiel Stanislaus, former Ambassador of Grenada to the United Nations. His Excellency Francis Redhead, former Consul General of Grenada to the United Nations. His Excellency Eugene Persu, former Ambassador to the United Nations of Grenada. Uh, Mr. Jerry Romain, Secretary General of the Grenada United Labour Party. Friends, guests, fellow Grenadians, we are gathered on this occasion to memorialize, by way of a solemn service, the life and death of Sir Eric Matthew Gary, the first Prime Minister of Grenada, and sometimes lovingly described as the founder of our nation, Grenada, Pity Magnick, and Karakul who lived among us for 75 years and thereabouts, who has made a contribution to the lives and the well-being of Grenada, which is recognized by fellow Grenadians and people outside of Grenada. Eric Gehry has touched the life of each and every one of us here, and yet of generations to come. He has brought political awakening to Grenada in a way as Grenada has never known before. He has made uh, fellow Grenadians conscious of their rights under democracy, to agree to disagree, to fight in what they believe in or for what they believe in, and in the final analysis to come together as one people. And if his death has proved nothing else, it has proved one thing. And your presence here has demonstrated that, that across political lines, across political philosophies, we can come together as one people. His funeral in Grenada, which was attended by multitudes and multitudes of fellow Grenadians and people from outside of the country, lends testimony to the recognition, the respect, and the love that fellow Grenadians and others bore for Eric Gehry. I do not believe that he is dead in another sense of the word. Apart from the physical flesh that is gone, he is still alive among us and will continue to be alive. He has inspired many a Grenadian to better way of life for themselves and for their families. He has touched the lives of Grenadians from a social point of view, from an economic point of view, and to say nothing of the political. From a social point of view, Eric Gehry has leveled the plane in Grenada and has made indistinguishable the lives of fellow Grenadians as to whether they are landowners, shop owners, or proprietors of any kind. During his life and times, Grenadians were not distinguished in that way. They held their places as members in equality in a society that was ours. And for that, I believe, we owe him a debt of gratitude. Because prior to that, for those of us who lived during and uh, before his time, knew what transpired 
in the Grenadian society. He has brought us some measure of economic well-being in that prior to his time, I need not tell you, the Grenadians worked for slavish wages. He has tried to equalize the interests of Grenadians in their own country by way of land distribution, which may or may not have had the desired effects, but nevertheless, he was well meaning This is a time in the life of each and every one of us as Grenadians or members of society when we might, because of him, come together, bury our differences, political and otherwise, and say to ourselves that we should march forward in common unity for the good and the benefit of all Grenadians. And so, fellow Grenadians, we remember Eric Gary, and we ask of God that he should give him his just rewards and that he should forgive him for whatever sins he might have committed. And we ask of you that you continue to remember him for what he was and to be inspired by the good things which he disseminated among us. And I trust and pray that the name of Eric Gary will forever live among us for the good and the better of the nation that we love so well, Renata Karakuni Pidimatna.